Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kenechi Ume Ogoajo. And on today's video, I'm about to show you how to make this beautiful mini bag a handbag for women. But before then, please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, share this channel, hit on the notification bell. So each time we upload a new video, you'll be notified. Please drop your comments, give your collections, and anything you can tell me about this bag. Thanks so much for dropping by. Now let's go ahead for this bag. I will show you everything concerning this bag, the measurement, the pattern drafting, and every other thing, even how to sew this bag is here. Now let's go ahead to show you the measurement of this bag. I have drawn the pattern, cut it out, but I will show you everything how I did it. Now, the measurement for this bag is 7.5 by 6 inch. 7.5 by 6 inch is the measurement for this bag. Then coming to the two sides up is 2.5. Coming to this up now is 2.5 by 3.7 inch. This side is 2.5 by 3.7 inch. The same thing applies to the other side. Then coming down there now, we'll have 2 inch by 1 inch. And you see on top of there is 3.7 by 2.5 inch. Then this side is 1 by 2 inch, or you can call it 2 by 1 inch. And the same thing applies to this side. And you see that now. Then coming the, up to this side, that is a mistake. It's supposed to be 3.7 inch, not 2.7 inch. Please take that correction, and this is for the flap. Then coming to the side of the bag, the side will be two pieces. And this flap will be only one piece. Now. For this side of the bag, the measurement for the side of the bag is 3.5 by 5.3 inch. The side is 3.5 by 5.3 inch. Then after getting that, I have 0 0.5 up there by the two sides. Then after drawing 0 0.5 by two sides, I use my ruler and draw a slant line coming down to the downward of the bag and the downward of that side is two inch by one inch also that is for the side then coming to the base the base for the bag is 7.5 by 3.5 inch then coming to the main body of this bag is 7.5 by 5 inch and it will be, it will be into two pieces then for this side here now, I have one inch. That will be the one that will go around the side of the bag. Now, this is the handle. I'm sewing the handle. Then after sewing this handle now, the next thing I will do is to join the base of this bag and the main body of the bag together. I'm joining the base and the main body of this bag together. Then after joining the two body and the base of this bag together, the next thing I will do now is to join the flap and the main body of this bag together also. But before then, I will use leather or lining to cover the flap of this bag. I will use it to cover it so that it makes it to look so beautiful and wonderful. Then after that, I will sew it. After sewing it now, the next thing I will do now is to join the two together as in the main body of the bag together then after that this is the side of the back i'm joining it with the leather that i cut it one inch that will go around the side of this back 
Can you see what I'm doing here? Then after sewing that one, now I'm joining the lining and this one together. Then I will sew all of them together. Then after sewing this one together now, the next thing I will do is to join the flap and the main body of this bag. Can you see what I'm doing here? I'm joining the flap and the main body of this bag together. Then after joining together now, this is the result of what we have done so far. Then now I'm joining the side of this bag and the main body of the bag together. Just follow me, do your own, you will understand what I have done here. After sewing this side now, also sew the other side the same way that I have done here. Then I'm joining the other side also. Then after joining the other side of the also, this is the result, the outcome of the bag that you have sewn. Is it not beautiful and is it not nice? Go ahead and do your own. So come, drop your comments on the comment section. The next thing we are going to do now is to put the fancy and the magnet on this bag. Can you see what I'm doing here? I used my punch to open this place now. You can use your knife or your scissors. Why do we need just be very very careful so that you will not exceed beyond the place that you're supposed to put this one. Then after putting it now, this is the result. Can you see what I'm talking about here? Is it this bag not beautiful and so nice? Please thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much. Comment on the comment section. Like this video. Share this video also. Hit on the notification bell. So each time we upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks so much. Bye.